One of Iowa's most popular travel destinations can be found along our state's northern border. For many families, images of Okaboji and Spirit Lakes represent generations of summer vacations. But for one Iowan, the best perspective is a few hundred feet above the shoreline. It's an aerial view he's always had an appreciation for and now has the opportunity to share it with everyone else. I like it all. I like the whole difficulty of it. I like the whole challenge of it. And I like the, the uh, random feeling of euphoria when it works, when, when it works. As a photographer, you, hit, you know when those moments are when you go, that was it, I nailed it. That was, that's gonna be amazing to see on the computer. From fall color to frozen tundra, Tom Gustafson spends much of his free time drifting above Lake Okaboji. I would say the first thing that comes to my mind is calm water, uh, the, the oranges, the yellows, the or and, and reds, and of course the blue, but just calm water, peacefulness, maybe one boat or uh, nothing at all. Before sunrise, Tom ventures out to prepare his aerial filming craft. Not a helicopter, or a personal airplane, but a drone. And the first moments of light are only a couple minutes away. Against the calm, pre-dawn silence whirs a constant sound of small propellers. Tom drifts over a section of East Okaboji Lake, waiting for the first rays of light to ricochet off the water. Okay, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move around here. Oh yeah, it's starting to warm up out there, the light. I have a variety of favorites and, and, and it kind of migrates, it kind of moves around sometimes. I like some where uh, there's a single fisherman and it's very peaceful. I like some that are very abstract and where it's just a mix of textures and materials and you don't know where that is or what that is. But once I tell you, then you go, ah. I used to be a pilot long ago, a private pilot. And so, with that, I knew what the area looked like from above, and I knew that it's, it was fascinating to see. Um, and then when this whole genre of drones with cameras on them came out, I knew just reading the specs that the, you know, the quality wasn't quite there. And so when it started getting better and better, I thought, okay, I have to get this. I've been, uh, I would say, an amateur. I've always been an enthusiast ever since I was a little kid. You know, my mom had like a little Vivitar. 110 camera, if you can't remember those little, uh, and I was just fascinated with, with what you could get from that. You know, you can actually capture a moment in time. This is when I was really young, and then you know, you send it to the drugstore, the film, and you get it back, and you go, yeah, it was two or three weeks ago you took this, and then you remember what it was. And so I've always been enthralled with photography. So then I got a drone and started sharing those photographs. And people really, really enjoyed seeing Okaboji from a completely different perspective. I'm sharing photos, I'm sharing photos, and then uh, a buddy said, dude, you need to make a book. And I thought he's just being nice. And I had like 3,000 photos. And I thought, well, I have enough that I could. And uh, so I thought, what the heck, why not? So it, it was all by happy accident. I have gotten so many comments from this and so many reprint requests because of uh, this shot. They've never seen where they live from the air like this. And so here again, it makes them very proud of where they live when they see it this way. And this is that playground that I was telling you about. And this is this photo right here, people have 
uh, express like, where is that? What is that? And the moment I tell them that, it's a big aha, you know. Tom's drone photography book, Above Okaboji, covers his work across all four seasons. From busy summer days on Iowa's popular recreation destination, to freezing chunks of ice dotting the lake in frigid winter temperatures. His work became both prolific and popular enough to spawn a second book debuting in 2018. It's all part of Tom's unconventional journey from hobbyist to photographer. Oh. Yeah, I think the color's gonna look nice. So now I just like to look for something interesting, depending on my mood, if I wanna do something abstract. Boy, the reds are really pretty. And that's the, that's the interesting thing about this fall weather, or this, the fall color doesn't stay very long. Meanwhile, on a rocky northwest Iowa shoreline, you may find Tom Gustafson, hands on the controls, with a camera in the sky, showing everyone what it's like above Okaboji.